Camp Ripley assembled an amazing group of athletes this past weekend, capable of running 20 miles per hour for more than two hours. You can't really slow them down, because when you're slowing them down, you're like making them work harder to go as fast as they want to. The dogs will generally go as fast as they desire, even without a musher on the sled. Don't let go if you fall off, because you have to get a ride back in or just start walking. The musher's main responsibilities are keeping the dogs focused, keeping the line tight, pedaling to lighten the load, and steering. Come on, Lakota! There are no reins in sled dog racing, so the teams are controlled completely by voice commands. I'm right, guys! I'm right! I'm right! There's G, ha, whoa, and then to start. G means turn right, ha means turn left, whoa means stop, and get up means go faster. Because of the vocal commands, the lead dog needs discipline. The leaders are mostly the ones that listen the most and they should be fast. The swing dogs are behind the leader, pushing the pace and keeping the team on track. The wheel dogs are next to the sled and are the heavy pullers. Musher Art Stoller brought a team of 15-month-old pups to help them learn the different roles. We had to stop a number of times because they got tangled uh, for certain reasons and uh, uh, they're learning and, and we're really pleased with their progress. The sledding events ran classes from four dogs up to ten dogs for adults and two or three dogs for kids. Distances ranged from four mile sprints all the way to a 37 mile run. Conditions are good. They've done a really great job preparing the trail given the fact that snow, uh, snow this year has been a, a real problem. There was plenty of snow for racers to leave the sled behind and strap on skis for either the one or two dogs ski joring race. The ski drawer has a special belt around the hips and everything so that the physics of the pulling is appropriate. No matter what race the mushers chills, the competition involves the fast and the furriest. Shane Lee, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.